Good morning, everybody, on this Monday, September 28th. Hopefully a month from now, I will at least be in ownership of my new keys, my um, new house keys. So hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, anyway, excuse me, I just had a drink of uh, Pepsi, so, you know, soda. Um, but it is Monday, Monday, yeah, it is Monday, it is just about 8 a.m., um, I am working. I've got both doggos with me, which is always a nice little treat. I got a buttercup right here and a Wednesday right here. And Nick is off on his van. And Neil is still in Maryland. He'll be back soon. And yeah, he'll be back soon. I'm going to check on the weather because I think it's supposed to get hot today. I was going to open the window because it's actually nice outside, which I might still do just to get some air in here. Um, it's going to get to 80 today. So I bet I'm going to have to open the window like soon um, so that as it gets warmer throughout the day, I can shut it and not get like too hot. Today is the hot day for the week. 70 for tomorrow, 68, 68, 63 on Friday, 62 on Saturday, and then 65 on Sunday. I'm glad I painted yesterday. Um... I'm glad I painted yesterday. The other stuff won't take long, like at all, to get the rest of that stuff painted. So, and um, <clears throat> I don't even know that I'm gonna have to get up and down on like the big ladder to get to it. I think I could probably just get the shorter ladder to get to um, like the top of the doors, that sort of thing, and the tops of the poles. So, and even the top of the garage door. I think I'm gonna a little ladder for that. And those steps are wider. Um, deeper is probably the better way to say it. And they're deeper. So like I'm not just standing on part of my foot. I have I can be able to put my whole foot on the step, which is very nice. Um, yeah. So, but we're still, you know, we're looking at, we're still uh, talking about where we want to put everything in the new house. I need to start packing up. My problem is, is that I need Nicholas to make a decision on what bedroom he wants. He has three bedrooms to choose from. And really it comes down to two bedrooms because there's a bedroom in the basement that Neil's going to stay. He already decided he's staying in the in the basement. He's, he's going to sleep in the basement. So he has his own full bath to himself because there's a full bath down there. Um, we're going to put the TV, the older TV, the um, the one we just, I just bought John a TV in December, but our old TV before the humongous one, the older TV is going in the basement. And all the video game systems are going to get attached to that. And I think we're going to put the cable box. So we have two cable boxes right now. Well, yeah, I guess you can call them cable boxes. We have the big one and then we have a little one. The little one's in our bedroom and we like never use it. So the main cable box is going to go on the main floor and then the little cable box is going to go in the basement. So the TV in the basement is going to have TV as well as video games. And we're going to put all of our exercise equipment down there as well. So, um... Neil's going to have like exercise equipment, a television with cable, uh, video games, his own uh, bathroom, although we'll use it when we're down there, and his own bedroom in the basement. So other than a kitchen, he's pretty much going to have his whole little like world down there. Um, he will have to come upstairs to eat. He will. Um, anyway, uh, we might put a, a microwave downstairs. It depends on if they leave... A microwave um, I know they sold one of the microwaves I don't know that they sold the other one so I don't know um, yeah if they leave a microwave we might put a microwave downstairs just so that like if we want to be downstairs and like make microwave popcorn or something um, but Neil will have to go upstairs for, for to eat because the kitchen's upstairs um, on but Nicholas has two bedrooms to choose from. One is going to be his bedroom. The other one that he doesn't choose is going to be my office. So I only say all that because um, I haven't started packing things because I'm lazy. <laughs> That's really what it comes down to. I haven't started packing things because I'm lazy. And I don't have uh, boxes. I'm really not excited about tearing down these lights. Um, I still have the case for them. But... And they all come apart. It's not like it's hard to take them down. It's just I have to take them down in there to put them back up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, 
anyway, we, uh, all right, I need to start packing. Actually, I need to get boxes and I need to start packing. So the first stuff I'm going to start packing up is like the dining room and the kitchen. Um, once we know when our closing date's going to be, um, I'm going to have like menus planned out and like anything that is not going to be used in our menus is going to go over to the new house and anything that is going to be used in the menus will stay here, but I will probably be working on that first. Um, and then everything else will come afterwards. All the big furniture, like, and what my plan was, was to, um, maybe just get four or five boxes and I will move four or five boxes at a time. I think I might've told you guys this already. I'll move like four or five boxes at a time because that is what will fit in the back of our uh, Subaru. So I will just like fill up those boxes, put them in the car, move them, empty them, and then come back. So then I'm not just sitting around with boxes everywhere. Like I've been in this house for 15 years. There are still boxes in the basement that we never opened. And I don't want that to be the case. If I'm going to move it, I want it to be something that I want to keep. Um, I don't want to just throw everything in boxes just to get it moved, if that makes sense. I don't want to end up with like boxes just because. So that's kind of where we are at, or I am at. And I think John's on the same page. He doesn't want to move something just to like have it sit there. So, um, but you know, we're going to close. And then I think what we're going to do is take the first day when we close, because John's going to take the day off work. The day we close, he'll have to you know, I think we're just going to spend that day just cleaning. And as we go through and clean, talk about how we want to set everything up, if that makes sense. Um, like I'll move all of Nick's stuff from his room with the exception of his bed and some clothes. I'll move everything from my room and Neil will, will be around so he can move everything from his room. Um, except for furniture and clothes because my, the, the way I envision it is we're going to do this over two weekends. Like the first weekend, we're going to clean. I, I envision us closing on a Friday. That first weekend, clean and start moving things and decide where everything's going to go. I'm going to spend a whole week moving things to where they're where they're going to go. And then the second weekend, we will move all of the furniture. So that's how I envision it. Yes. Anyway, it is 8 o'clock. It is Monday morning. I am tired. I had a hard time getting up this morning. I had a really bad dream. Um, at one point that actually woke me up. Um, yeah. It was not a very, it was not a good dream. It had to do with like a very, very scary situation. So anyway, not that I'm monetizing this channel and I could say it, but I'm not going to. Um, but it, the four of us were somewhere other than home and two of us were in one area and two of us were in another area and then I started hearing you know pops so um yeah anyway my two-day mailer that I sent last Tuesday that I paid extra for two-day mailing um, is still sitting in a distribution center and has been sitting in a distribution center since Thursday. <clears throat> so it is not out for delivery. It is, um, yeah. And I shipped it. I think it's, I think it even went to a PO box. Did it go to a PO box? Look. Do, 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 do. I'm looking for the right page. Where is it at? Yeah, it went to a P.O. box. In Birmingham, Alabama. And it's sitting at a Birmingham, Alabama distribution center. <clears throat> they could have they could have put it in the P.O. box. I should just mail it regular. If I would have just mailed it regular, it was still supposed to get there today. Anyway, I'm going to stop complaining. I'm going to get to work. Everything is good. In the grand scheme of things, I have an amazing life and I can't, I, I shouldn't complain. I will say this. I canceled my counseling appointment for tonight on Thursday. I called and left a message way in advance. Like you're supposed to cancel within uh, more than at, at least 24 hours in advance. 
I called last Thursday and left a message and said I would like to reschedule my appointment for two weeks down the road. So I didn't have it today because I was I really want to start packing. Um, I got a text message last night saying you have an appointment tomorrow. Yeah. I'm not really happy with the admin staff at my, my counselor's office. <laughs> I've called enough messages before and they don't call back. I just... They're not very good. So... Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get back to work, and I will see you guys tonight. Bye. I know, I know. I suck at being a vlogger. It's 9.30, and I am exhausted. I don't, I've got a really bad headache. Really bad headache. Anyway, um, yeah. I got something on my pants, I just noticed. I don't know what that is. That's weird good times I'm very very tired it is 9 30 I worked and then I got off work we ate dinner what do we have for dinner beef and broccoli and after dinner I um, ran to Target in an effort to get chocolate chips and they didn't have any I think Target's no longer going to carry the semi-sweet ones, which is going to suck. Because those are my favorite ones. Because they now have white chocolate chips and milk chocolate chips and dark chocolate chips, but they don't have the semi-sweets. So that stinks. Um, so, yeah, I went to Target. I ended up spending way more money than I wanted to. I got um, Windex, but like not Windex, the Method brand, which is like supposed to be better for the environment and stuff. So I got glass cleaner, I got a spray bottle, and then I got like a refill bottle because I figured we gotta clean the new house and then clean this house. So I figured I that there's quite a lot of windows between two houses. So I bought some window cleaner, or the Windex um, Method brand glass cleaner. I bought hardwood floor cleaners because we don't have hardwood floors. So we don't we don't clean hardwood floors because we don't have hardwood floors. So I bought this mop um, that was at Target that had like you fill up this this bottle with water I think it's water I think and then it has these little cartridges that you attach and the cartridge has like the cleaner in it and then you use the mop and you clean anyway um we have a steamer which we'll be able to use at the new house in the kitchen because the kitchen has vinyl tiles in it but the majority of the house is wood so I bought this this like mop that's supposed to be used for hardwood so I bought that I bought some more tortillas I bought some like storage things um, because the bathroom that we're going to use doesn't have any drawers it has two cabinets but no drawers so one of the things that I have issues with is that we put stuff in our cabinet in our like in our bathroom and it just gets shuffled and lost so I bought these little storage containers they were like college contain storage solution basically I spent like eight bucks um, and I might return some but basically they're just to like organize you know what I mean so I figured I'd put those in the closet in the new bathroom to like organize like all of the medicines 
would go on one and like all of the toothpaste because we get we get the little mini toothpastes a lot from like beauty boxes I get them from the dentist they're never sensodyne or sensitive tooth toothpaste so I never use the ones we get from the dentist long story short we have a lot of them we've got like six or eight of them in the cabinet so you know put them in there we have all the tooth toothbrushes we get from the dentists which again I don't use I have an electronic toothbrush that I use um, yeah so we'll see I can return it I think Target's return policy is 60 days so I can return it if I decide if you know we settle on the house and decide we don't want that whatever's on my pants is bothering me I mean I'm just gonna take my pants off in a little bit when we go to bed but um yeah so what else did I buy I wanted to buy a big huge bowl of Halloween decoration that was a hundred dollars and I didn't so that was good yeah um what else did I buy I don't remember basically I bought cleaning supplies and some food I can't for life me remember what else I bought anyway I have the receipt somewhere I tucked it I tucked the receipt in with the um, storage little storage cube things um, in case I want to return it so anyway I've got a really wicked headache and I want to go to sleep so that's gonna be it for today I'm a little frustrated it seems like delivery services are failing me all around my I mailed in some paperwork to get something done I John I don't know if I told you guys but John was trying to fax it last Monday he was trying to fax it and it would not connect and then they have a secure system that I could upload it to and I tried to upload a secure system and it would not upload I have tried it every day since last Monday multiple computers multiple browsers and it gets to the last step and then it fails every single time so last Tuesday I mailed it and I paid for two-day shipping I mailed it on Tuesday and they said two-day shipping would be Friday which technically is like three days but I was like okay sure today's Monday and it still hasn't been delivered so I sent an email into USPS tonight saying hey what's up I paid extra for two-day shipping and it's a whole week and it still isn't delivered yet and it's important paperwork like I have to get this paperwork there and I have been trying everything that I possibly could without overnighting it I just don't know what else to do like if I had done a one day guaranteed delivery, it would have been like $22. As it was, it was $8 for two day delivery. Anyway, I'm just complaining. Today, I am thankful. I'm thankful to be alive in 2020. That sounds crazy, right? 2020 has been a nutso year. But it's definitely been interesting. If you had asked me six months ago if I would have moved by the end of this year, I would have told you no way. John and I had a plan. We were going to move after Nick got out of eighth grade and that, that I mean that was our plan we were gonna do that and John was gonna look for a new job then and we were gonna move and now I'm moving now and John's actually looking for another job I guess things happen when they're meant to happen anyway that's gonna be it for today mm -hmm. 
Hey, Nick, do you want to end the vlog with me? I don't think he can hear me. Nick! Nicholas! Do you want to end the vlog with me? He heard me that time. But I think he's on, he's watching a video on his phone, so I don't know that he's actually like hearing me, hearing me. You know what I mean? Nick! What? Do you want to end the vlog with me? Is that a yes? All right, I'm gonna end it. Here he comes. Come on, get over here, I'm waiting for you. You're, you're up first. I already said I was thankful for and everything. Thankful about you? Thank you. Hit it. What did I in your shirt? What? What game are you pretending to be in? And I'm Fortnite? Pret I'm pretending to be in a war. What game is it though? I'm pretending to be in a war. He likes Call of Duty. Please stop that. Come on. I hope tomorrow will be better than today. You may hope you have a great day. We'll, we'll see, you, see tomorrow. you tomorrow. Bye guys.